So, Alice, how you been lately? Uh, there's a whole story behind you that people need to know about. They'll have to come to the museum to find it out, but we're having a good time here today, I'll tell you we are. Now, I've been here before, this first time she's come. What do you think she should look at while she's here? You, you, you don't talk much, do you, Alice? Um, you, you do have a good hand. I think I can hold Alan in hand, but... Uh, uh, you've been busy today? Yeah, yeah, not talking much, okay. Well, listen, it was good to visit with you, and uh, you keep holding those aces. Shouldn't have said that, should I? <laughs> but uh, glad we could chat for a little bit. Good place to come and see RV history. I agree. <laughs> Here we are, we just finished dinner tonight, enjoying dessert now, chocolate chip cookie, can't beat that. And we're members at Harvest Host, so tonight we're staying at the RV and Mobile Home Museum here in Elkhart, Indiana. And so we thought we'd just give you an update, had a great time in Holland, uh, Michigan, where we enjoyed so much of the Tulip Festival. Now it's start to trip back to the house. But uh, along the way, uh, we wanted to go through the museum tomorrow and they let you stay here in the parking lot for the evening. Folks next to us have been here for a couple of days and taking, taking in all the sights around Elkhart. Can't beat that. If you haven't been here before, uh, this is quite a place. You'll see some uh, pictures and some video uh, of our tour through the uh, museum. Uh, I came a few years back when we were up here for a frog gathering. This is Dina's first time. And so for both of us, this is going to be another memorable uh, part of our trip as we take in all the sights and sounds of the history of RVing. And there is quite a history. Love hearing the stories the folks next to us told us about their journey across the years and the different units that they've had. But I uh, hope you enjoy this. And uh, tomorrow is supposed to be a much better, warmer day, and we're counting on it. So you take care and follow along. So here we are this morning, ready to go into the RVMH Museum. What a great opportunity for us to go in and just see the history of RVs. Come along with us, this is going to be a great day. This was our first camper that we purchased when we first started out camping, but we had no idea how the conveniences and improved, so we quickly upgraded. The teardrop tool, 1946. This teardrop. is the 1946? 1946 teardrop. It hasn't really changed that much. I mean, the inside has, it's but. It was in October 1945. So initially, this initial model was the kit camper made its debut in 46 at a trade show. Sherry and Chuck, That's they right. would like this. They would. Look at this. I Chuck, this is your place. I don't see an air conditioner. Oh, look at that. Put a plug in. This may be our next RV, but we're going to have to win some money.
know what it does, but it opens up. That's the slide. Yeah, but this is hooked on here to go up. Isn't it? Oh, it may be. So, right, there is no kitchen table. Maybe... This slides out and then this goes up. Wow. Not a lot of counter space. And this is just the regular... Then you got your handrails because there's a pool up there. It's a jacuzzi, I think. Yeah, jacuzzi, right. And then the helicopter, I guess, lands on the back of it. My daddy would have liked this. He could have pulled a RV. They still make these now. What we're looking at now is a 1939 Lindbergh travel trailer. It was designed in St. Carlos, California by an engineer. It was custom built for the famous aviator uh, Charles Lindbergh. It's skinned in aluminum to reduce the weight and enhance the appearance. It boasts two axles, unusual for that time, one at each end and the design gave the trailer a greater deal of stability. During his days, Charles Lindbergh captivated the American public with a fault in himself and worldwide fame of flying. Crank out windows. Mm -hmm. Betty back there. This is futurism. I guess I can turn them around. And one can never complain about their seats when they drive. It's got the vent windows up at the top. Yeah. That's awesome. It's a 1931 model double A Ford house car. It's a 54 Yellowstone travel trailer and it said that this is an example of the higher line travel trailers made in the early 50s. May West House Car, 1931. Ask your grandparents it's designed who May West is. It's a driven lounge, not a camping unit. It features a oh, I bet, I bet a she nice used box. it. I bet she used it during between and on the, the movie set. Yeah, that's what they said. Yeah. She would, um, it was used for several years to transport Miss West from her home or hotel to the shooting location. The story indicates she had a rocking chair on the back porch where she could enjoy the breeze when it was appropriate. Why can such a large town? It's the same size, same size. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is a 1986 Executive Diplomat Edition. It's manufactured in Chino, California. The wood, beautiful wood. Nice refrigerator. 
sure you do. You can see it. A little shower. Walk-in shower. Here's our new RV. This should be Lindbergh. By Hollywood movie and producer Roy Hunt. I've heard of him. Boy, that is still in good shape. 